Hi guys, it's me, the math person. Today I'll be going over question 234 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. An insurance company has an equal number of claims on each of three territories. Equal number of claims. In each territory, only three claims amounts are possible. 100, 500, and 10,000. Based on the company's data, data, what is the probability of each claim amount? Or here, listed here. And we're looking for the standard deviation. So for standard deviation, you know we know that standard deviation is just the square root of x. So then we can, and then we know the variance formula is e x squared minus the expectation, the whole thing squared, right? And our x in our case, what what are we looking for? We're looking for the claim amount. So this is our x. All right. So let's, and we also know that these are equally equal number of claims in each of these three territories. So we know that the probabilities, we can actually average them. So I'm, I'm gonna put the average of the three here. So I'm gonna do 0 0.9 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.7, divide by three, which is 0 0.8. And then for 500, because we know it's equally distributed, we can add those three numbers again and divide by three, which is 0.13. And lastly, 0 0.02, 0 0.09 plus 0.1 divide by 3.07 all right and now actually you know what we, got, we already have everything we need so let's find the expectation first well the expectation is pretty easy right it just p times um x so in our case and you just sum it up all of them so in our case for 100 it is the probability is 0 0.8 times 100 for 500 the probability is 0.13 times 500 plus 0 0.07 times a thousand. So this adds up to, our expectation is 215. All right, so now we just have to find the second moment. The second moment, we just have to do the exact same thing as this one, except we just have to do our x squared. So I'm gonna copy and paste here. So I'm gonna add a little squared in there because this is our second moment. This is equal to one one zero five zero zero. All right, so now we just have to plug in the formula one one zero five zero zero minus two one five squared, and we square root this whole thing to find our standard deviation. So this is approximately equal to two five three point five two five, which is equal to approximately equal to two fifty four, which is our answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!